Welcome Technology Advice viewers to this week's Product Spotlight. Today I'm joined by Tessa Court all the way from Australia. Tessa, thanks for waking up with us this morning. Tessa is the CEO of Intelligence Bank. Uh, Tessa, we'll jump into the first question right away. Describe Intelligence Bank in one sentence. Sure. So Intelligence Bank Digital Asset Management has been developed and designed to make marketers' lives easier. So with the wealth and breadth of digital marketing content that exists, we put order to the chaos and really help put a process around marketing content. Great. Well, what differentiates Intelligence Bank from its competitors? Um, there's a couple of things that differentiates us between other providers in the market. And I think the first thing is the out of the box customization. So, you know, when you're a brand marketer or marketer, you want your software and your programs that other people, especially externally are looking at, um, to, to be, you know, branded with your look and feel. Um, the other thing that we offer that's really different from a lot of competitors is in addition to managing the assets and workflow is that we have the ability to create or to help marketers create custom brand guideline pages, which really helps to explain a marketer's brand to third parties such as agencies or distributors or partners. So, you know, one of the problems is you create these amazing brand guidelines, but they live in a PDF document. So our brand guidelines pages really help to showcase what a brand means and to explain brand values and also like the logistical things such as logos, fonts, colors, and things like that. Great. Well, let's talk about the ideal customer. Okay. So I guess one of the nice things about our software is that we can work with companies large and small. So, you know, we have some very small kind of five user um, clients who might have, for instance, five users, but they have to distribute their assets to distributors and they just need, again, order around, you know, the marketing content. And then we look, work with some really large companies like Carlsberg um, and Destination Hotels who have, you know, lots of people accessing it, um, people being able to self-register. So, you know, you know, thousands and thousands of end users. Great. Well, what does pricing look like for Intelligence Bank? Our pricing model is based on a cost per user per month basis. So for our digital asset management product, which is just the image and media content management with metadata um, features, that is starts at $9 per user per month. Um, and then our brand hub package, which has digital asset management workflow, as well as the brand guidelines pages, um, that starts at $19 per user per month. For both packages, once you get to over 100 users, um, we provide discounts, and there are also discounts for purchasing annually advanced online with a credit card. Um, and we can really cater to lots of different types of companies. So we have anywhere like really small companies with, um, let's say, five to 10 core users and thousands of distributors that they need to access. So we can have a light user model as well. Um, and then we can also work with, you know, super large organizations who, you know, need the entire company to be able to log in with a single sign on and access their files. So it really just depends on what the, the client wants. But, you know, we, we start at a base model, but clients can really customize the platform. Okay, well, let's talk about a limitation. One of the, I guess, limitations, the way that we think about our product is that there's a spectrum for digital asset management. So on one hand, you have operationally friendly platforms where no training is really needed and users can just log in and use it. You know, if they use Facebook or Google, they can kind of use the platform. And then you have, you know, very production intense digital asset management whereby, you know, you've got, you know, web to print, um, you have, um, you know, very technical production oriented digital asset management. So we are definitely on the operational friendly side of it. So I guess what our product might be lacking is, you know, we're not a digital asset management for designers only, we're for everyone. Awesome. Well, what's the best practice for implementing your product? So I guess um, the first thing is that we don't leave you alone. So you're not, you know, we don't just sell you software and say, bye, good luck implementing. So we provide um, implementation packages as well. Um, the first thing you need to do is figure out your folder and your keyword structure, your metadata structure. And that's also, you know, sometimes very daunting for some of our customers because they're like, oh my gosh, I've got stuff everywhere. How do I start? And do I, you know, put information and assets from, you know, 10 years ago into the platform? So what we first say is draw a line in the sand with your assets. Only put in, if you're unsure, the last couple of years or whatever you have. And it doesn't, the way that our platform works is that it's additive and it's very configurable and out of the box. So 
if life changes and you need to change your filter or your folder structure around, that's not a problem at all. And then what we do with our clients, once we have the folder filter structure, we, we bulk migrate all of your data into the system. So you're starting your platform with a full, you know, with full assets in the platform. So when people go there, it's not empty and they're like, oh, I don't know about using this. I'm going to go back to my share drive. Um, and I guess the third thing is then we work with our customers on, um, on permissions and also really understanding what their process is. And that's really what I guess differentiates the intelligence bank from others is that we're not just about dumping your, your creative files, you know, on the web somewhere. It's not like a glorified Dropbox, but it's more about the process of how do you create the, I guess, the creative assets, and then how do you approve them and also then distribute them as well. Thank you for joining us today, Tessa. If you'd like to find out more about Intelligence Bank, check out our website, technologyadvice.com, where we can help you find the best technology for your business. Thanks for watching.